ladies and gentlemen, you know, back in April, COVID became a black problem in America. You know, they told us this without showing a single number. And the news media in America is guilty of doing that each and every day. They want to put out there that we got it disproportionately. And it really doesn't make any sense, ladies and gentlemen, because we're not big in every state. So there's no way we could be carrying the biggest amount of COVID nationwide in America. There's no way, especially when they pinned us forever as 13% of the population. So keeping all of that in mind, there's no possible way we would have it more than anyone else. You know, so I want you to look at this dashboard. If you want to see this, this is Rebecca Jones' dashboard that she put together herself to put out the real numbers for Florida. So it's floridacovidaction.com. All right, so let's go to the dashboard, ladies and gentlemen. And this dashboard is going to show you Okay, here we go. I guess it was just a little slow to load. So this dashboard is going to show you how many cases there are in Florida, the Florida deaths. And it goes over a lot of um, the statistics on what's going on in Florida. But it has a lot more interesting things than just this. The one thing I like about Rebecca, she broke it down by race. And let me show you that. Okay. <clears throat> right here on the bottom, demographics. Okay. So this really is a, a very good dashboard when you look at it in comparison to some of the other ones that I've looked at. All right. See, there is a reason why they never want to show us a raw number, but they want to make sure each and every day in the media, they say that the black community have it disproportionately. And it really doesn't make any sense. We're not big in every state in America. You know, we're not big in Iowa, okay, or Utah and places like that. You know, we are sizable in certain parts of the country, but not all over. So that being said, there's a reason why they don't ever want us to see raw numbers and they have been keeping the raw numbers away from us all this time while they're on this crusade to be on mainstream news to say that we got it disproportionately every day. So let's take a look at Florida. Now, I got family down in Florida. In fact, most of my father's side of the family is in Florida, okay? And I know we could not possibly be getting it the way they're saying. Now, my family on my father's side and my mother's side are large, okay? Large family on both sides. But my father's side uh, down there on Florida, down there in Florida, Nobody got COVID. I've talked to my cousins. I talk to my uncle all the time. I talk to my uncle a few times a month. My aunts are there. I talk to them. Nobody got COVID and my family is large. So now let's take a look at these numbers. Now, I like how she got it broken down. She got it broken down by gender. So in the state of Florida, more females have COVID than male. So 622,200 females have cases of COVID. And among the males, 572,600. So in this state, more females have COVID than males. Now, cases reported by race. White, 633,100. That's well over a half a million people. 
633,100 white in the state of Florida. So white people overwhelmingly, if you go by raw numbers, have the most COVID in Florida. See, this is why they don't want to show you raw numbers. They want to show you percentages. Black. 162,100. So when you look at the white and black number, they're like worlds apart in the number of people that got it. So then they have other, and even the other number is bigger than the black number. It's 168,200. And then unknown, I'm just taking maybe that's somebody more of more of one race, um, 239,200. So again, white, black, other, and unknown. So let's look at the Hispanic numbers, okay? Cases by reported ethnicity. The Hispanics have 376,200. So their numbers are, even their numbers are way bigger than the black population. Um, as far as who got, uh, you know, the most cases, the Hispanics are really behind the white. And couldn't, shouldn't these numbers, ladies and gentlemen, technically be combined? Don't they count the Hispanics as white? So we're talking probably a million, right? When you combine these two numbers, a million. All right, so that's Hispanic, non-Hispanic, 551,800. And then unknown, 274,700. And they, of course, got it broken down by age. So look like the 15 to 24 and the 25 to 34 have the most cases. And according to Rebecca Jones, it's because many of these teens and young adults work in industries where they're constantly being exposed to a lot of people. Many of them work in restaurants. Many of them work in retail. So they would encounter a lot of people in their daily life. And because of that, they have a high number of COVID among the young. Now, remember, Florida is a state where they're not closed. They're not locked down. Everything is open there. Everything is open. So then you have the 35 to 44, okay, the 45 to 54, 55 to 64, and then, you know, you get really into the seniors, the 65 to 74, the 75 to 84, and 85 on up. So... I mean, I like how she has it all broken down where you can look at, you know, she even got the prisons in here. How many prisoners and inmates that have COVID in the state? So it's very detailed. You know, and, and this is why Ron DeSantis had her raided. He doesn't want this out here. See, he's been lowballing the numbers in Florida ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, we got the least amount in the state of Florida. When you look at the demographics, black people got the lowest amount in the whole state. So don't take to heart what they're doing. They're on a campaign to make everybody believe a lot of falsehoods in this country. They want you to believe the white race is untouched by this thing. They really don't have that much of it. But black people, they got it disproportionate. See, that's the nonsense they want you to believe. But there's a hell of a difference in this number 
and this number. And don't let them come and talk about, well, the population size. Of the, no, no. When you look at the raw numbers, we do not have it the most, especially in a place like Florida. I have a large black family in the state of Florida, and I talk to them constantly. Nobody got COVID in my large family. That should say a lot. And they tell me they wear their mask, they wear their gloves, and they try to take care of themselves and keep themselves out of harm's way. Nobody got it. And I'm not the only one with a large family in the state of Florida. By far, not even close to being the only one. Many people live in the South, in the Black community. So y'all, please tell me what you think. I'm glad she published this. I wish we could see this from more states because we are definitely being hoodwinked on this whole thing, big time. I have no doubt about it. This is like a huge difference right here. But these are the people that are going to come in our faces and tell us what we got the most and, and won't show you a number. And don't ever accept their percentage breakdown because the U.S. Census already said they have never accurately counted us. So if they never accurately counted us, there is no percentage they can give you that would be correct. Never forget that. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.